All right, so this is Miss Hughes and Miss McCauley. We're going to teach you about how to solve proportions today. All right, Miss Hughes, tell us what we're going to learn. All right, so our goal and our objective is that by the end of this class, you guys should be able to solve proportions with any given variable. What's okay. a proportion? I don't even get it. Lovely. Here we have more vocab. So a proportion is an equation stating that two ratios are equal. Ratios are fractions or numbers that we are comparing together. Yeah, ratio, this was from last year in sixth grade in unit five. Ratios are a comparison of things where the units are the same, okay? Um, cross products, that's cool. What is that like cross simplifying or cross multiplying? What is that? Mm, it's not like cross simplifying. So it's the result of multiplying on a diagonal of the proportion. So diagonal is like that. Just like cross multiplying, okay? So you're going to cross multiply. So since she cross multiplied there, I'm going to cross multiply the other two. So you can see 4 times 1, 4 times 1 is equal to purple. And this here yep. is 2 times 2. So yep. 4 is 4. That's pretty cool. We say, when we do proportions, we always say cross products are equal. Okay, you can write that down. All right, let's do a couple examples. Ms. Hughes, you can take the, or do you want me to take the first one? Either or. Okay, I'll take the first one. Perfect. And um, just like with anything else, you guys can use a calculator, but the couple of things that we're gonna require is that you show your work, okay? You need to show an equation and um, your variable. So in this case, we say cross products are equal. So that means B times 90, or 90B, whatever you wanna say, is equal to 66 times 15, okay? We would multiply B times 90. Luckily, Ms. Hughes has right, got my back and she has a calculator on fire right there. Uh -huh. Ms. Hughes, what is 66 times 15? 66 times 15 is 990. Nice, okay, then we would show our river. So one step equation at this point, we would divide because it's a multiplication equation. Whatever you do to one side, you must do to both. 990 divided by 90 is 11. So B is equal to 11. If you rewrote that, 11 over 15 equals 66 over 90, you would see that, oh, that is true because 11 times six is 66. 15 times six is 90. They make an equivalent ratio or equivalent fractions. Pretty easy. All right, we'll let Miss Hughes take number two. Okay. And I will um, erase this. Obviously, you should pause your video if you need to catch up on the writing. Yeah. So with example two, we have the same type of problem. Our only difference is our variable is in a different spot here, okay? So we still want to use cross product. So we're going to multiply. So we have nine times N gets us nine N, okay? And let's see, 3.2 times 36 is 115.2, okay? So this is our equation. Remember, equation means there's an equal sign because the word equation has the same word equal. Miss Hughes, I'm confused. Where did 115.2 come in? What is that? This is when you have 3.2 times 36. Okay, so would it be okay if I'm gonna require my students to write that in the original equation, they're gonna have to write 9n equals 3.2 times 36, at least until I get comfortable that I know you're writing the equation based on cross products are equal. Then you can use the calculator and get to step two. Okay, and some of my students will also, on this side, they will bring their 9n over here and then bring down their river and they will put their 115 on this side so they know. Okay, either way, that is fine as long as you are showing your work. If Absolutely. you don't show your work, we don't know what you're doing. Yep, we will not count it if there's not an equation shown or a river shown, all the work. Okay, so now I have 9n equals 115.2. So I want to get my variable all by itself. So since they're together, they're stuck together with multiplication, the opposite of multiplication would be division. 
Now, Ms. McCauley writes it this way. You can write it that way. I do have some students who put the fraction bar because we know a fraction bar equals division. Absolutely. Okay. Fractions are division problems in disguise. That is 100% okay. Okay, so it shouldn't matter which way you do it as long as you divide. So I can cross these out and I will have 9. And 115.2 divided by 9 is... 12.8. No, I didn't know that in my head. I used my calculator. Okay, awesome. Okay, so now it's time for you guys to try. Example, Example 3 and 4. Okay. Those will be in the note check. They're ready yep. for you. And then, of course, it, no lesson would be complete without some word problems. We our love word problems. So, all right, I will read it aloud for you. It is always your best interest to read the problem out loud. Now, that doesn't mean you have to yell it across the room. Just quietly read it to yourself, okay? So, the wait time to ride a roller coaster is 20 minutes when 160 people are in line. At this rate, how long is the wait time when 220 people are in line? All right, Ms. McCauley, what are you gonna do first? Well, I would underline or highlight, if I was on good notes, the things that are important, and obviously the numbers are gonna be important. So there's 20 minutes and 160 people, and then 220 people. So I know that I've got three out of four pieces. I also know that my lesson is on proportion, so most likely I'm gonna need to set up a proportion. And I'm gonna have three out of the four pieces of info. One's gonna be missing, and that probably tells me that I'm gonna need a variable. All right, so let's go. They're asking us for how long, right? That's our question here. Well, we know that they have how long in minutes, so our answer should be in minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and say let's use M as our variable for Perfect. minutes. Perfect, I totally would do the same. And we've got to label what our variable is. So M equals minutes, okay? All right, now what should we do next? Um, I guess let's set up the proportion. When I set up a proportion, the labels need to match. And I'm doing word problems, I want to label what I'm talking about. So 20 minutes I'm gonna put up here is for 160 people. So I'm gonna do like that. And I guess um, I'll just write out minutes so it doesn't get confusing with the variable. And then over here, I have people. So people has to go with people. So 220 goes here. This is the hardest part about doing proportions is word problems, is knowing where to put your stuff. You need to make sure your units match. So people to people, minutes to minutes. And here's where our big M, the missing guy goes. All right. Okay, and in my class, I will have you guys, you have to write over here, minutes over people. Because oh, right. even if you mix up these numbers, this shows me you at least know that the minutes need to be separated from the people. Now, how do I know the 20 doesn't go with the 220, Miss McCauley? Because they're close, so. It's true, good question. Well, it says here the wait time to ride the roller coaster is 20 minutes for 160 people are in line. It doesn't tell, it's asking me for how much the wait time is for 220 people. So that's how I know that I'm looking for the time for 220 because they give me the time for 160 people. Could I assume that every time they're in the same sentence, they go together? No, okay. definitely don't make that assumption. You have to read it and see what they say. And sometimes it's not gonna be as easy as this. Sometimes you're gonna have to lay it out and your missing piece might be here or your missing piece could be here or here. It could be anywhere. Okay. okay. All right, go ahead, Miss McCauley. Okay, so then we just do like we did before. We're gonna do cross products are equal, okay? Set up an equation, 20 times 220 equals 160 variable. So 20 times 220 is probably gonna be 4,400, 4, right? Yep. Okay, wow, I did that in my head, be impressed. Okay, equals 160M, now this one I'm not doing in my head. I must divide by 160 on both sides and M equals what, Ms. Hughes? 27.5. 27.5, so that means it will take 27.5 minutes, okay, so 27 minutes and 30 seconds for, that's kind of bad spelling, bad writing, for 
220 people in the line. So that means if you go to Great America and there are 220 people in this line, you're waiting about a half an hour for, to ride this ride. So hopefully it's a good one. So, Ms. McCauley, why is it 27 minutes and the .5? But you said 30. Good question. Well, because I know enough to know that when I say 27.5 minutes, half of a minute, there's 60 seconds in a minute, so that'd be 30 seconds would be half of it. So mm -hmm. I could write it just like this, or I could say, if I wanted to be really fancy, 27 minutes and 30 seconds. Look at that. We went all the way down to the seconds. Okay. We could, we would, of course, take this answer. would be fine, right? Mm hmm Okay, so that's how you do a word problem. You guys are going to have two word problems in your note check. Okay, make sure if you're not getting it at this point, this is where you kind of say, hey, I need some help before you hit that note check or show your notes and say, am I on the right track? Because um, that note check is graded as a little quiz. All right, anything else you can think of, Ms. Hughes? Not that I can think of besides always show your work. Remember your river down the middle and be sure to circle all of your answers. Yep, and this it, this should be pretty easy. It's a review from last year for almost all of you, um, but it's going to really set you up for Unit 3 when we have to use proportions to solve a lot of geometry problems. All right, thanks, Ms. Hughes, and uh, bye for now, guys. Bye.